What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm back. Oh, boy. This is a mad one. This movie was a barn burner. From pillar to post, from beginning to end, from A to Z. This is, first of all, this is going to have spoilers. It's going to be a complete review. Yeah. So I'll say come back when you've watched the movie. Yeah. Or if you want to hang out and chill out and talk and hear me, hear what I've got to say, please. But you've been warned. Yeah. So this movie is not even the same movie as the one, the cinematic version that came out. When did it come out? I think 2017, something like that. Not the same movie. This has shown me something that I never realised before. The difference in editing a movie. The reshoots. And the vision and interpretation can be so drastic. It's insane. The original Justice League that came out in the cinema is a... It's a disgrace, mate. It's an absolute disgrace. It's diabolical and it's a disrespect to Zack Snyder's vision. Because when you... Zack Snyder's um, Justice League, the Snyder Cut, easiest 10 out of 10, I'll give us a movie. The best all-round presentation of a superhero movie ever. Ever. I've never watched a superhero film that is so detailed in movie time. Yeah? They said that the movie was four hours. I don't believe that was four hours, man. I feel like a trick is being played on us. Because I watched that movie, that movie felt like it was like an hour and something. In no way was did that movie feel like it was four hours. No way in no way, bro. Unbelievable film though. Like just they emphasized everything and everyone. The only characters that did not get emphasized was Batman. But we know Batman's story. You know? So there was no need to emphasize his story. Aquaman, they gave us the Found, they built the foundation and showed us his mentality and who are the main people in his life and what is the outline of his background where does he come from why is he why is he the way he is they give us all of that Barry Allen they give us a nice glimpse into his mindset his relationships his world and his way of Viewing the world and his resolve to do what he does and why he does it. And why he is like so goofy at points. You know, so they give us enough of him. Plus he's getting his own movie. So they give us enough of the character for us to understand who he is and feel comfortable with him. With Diana, they show us the Amazons, bro. I love the way they did the Amazons, man. I have got a special um, affinity for the Amazons. Because when I was young, I always had a vision of the Amazons as strong, powerful women. No, just strong, powerful people. That was my vision of Wonder Woman and the Amazons, right? And for them to make them the way they are, it makes me feel so happy, right? Because it validates what is embedded in my mind from my interpretation of the Amazons, right? And then you saw, um, what's her name again? The Queen, Hippolyta. And she was godlike. The original, and you see, 
that because there was a scene where they showed the war, yeah, between Dark Side and the humans, like the the Age of Man, the Atlanteans before they went down to Earth, the old gods, the Amazons, and even you saw like galactic beings like the Lantern Corps. Unbelievable, bro. And you also saw Diana's, um, you saw Wonder Woman's dad, you saw Wonder Woman's brother at full power, you saw Wonder Woman's um, mother-in-law? aunt i don't know yeah whichever yeah but you saw like wonder woman so, and you saw um queen hippoletta yeah wonder woman's mum on the same battlefield so you saw wonder woman's mum and wonder woman's dad on the same battlefield but at this point they had not got together so diana had not come about yet it's crazy just the things that you saw, bro. Mate. Mate. is unbelievable. Like the law. Like the intricate bits of law that they put in there was mad. And you saw that the um, King of Atlantis. Diana's dad. And Diana's brother were pivotal in taking down... Um, dark side and separating the mother boxes. Man, it's so good, dude. It's so good, and it kind of sets you up to understand why Diana is so godlike, you know. And Diana is just Diana, she's not an old god, she's not a new god. Diana is Diana. Wonder Woman is Wonder Woman. And why? that's why she is so powerful. Man, I was feeling... I think, like, I don't know, man. There was. I want to say Wonder Woman was my favourite character in the whole movie. But then you got Victor. And then you got Barry. And ba Bruce. And then you got kal -El, And then you got Arthur. The, everybody in the movie was godlike. Everybody in that movie were gone. Like, there was no bad characters, man. Even the tiny little bit, the tiny glimpse you got of Iris. She was cool beans, bro. She, you only showed her a little bit, but what they showed you between Iris and Barry was magic, bro. That was pretty much love at first sight. But they ain't got time for each other right now. They don't know each other. They got their own shit going on. I, I, I gotta go. I think I'm in love with you, but I gotta go. You know? And the display of power. Everybody was OP in this movie. Everybody was peak. Peak performance. Except, I mean, I would say, you know, Batman prob is most likely the only one who was not at full power. Because let's be honest, Batman is never at full power, right? Because he's always fighting. He's always doing something. So he's never at full power. Yeah, that's why Batman can beat anybody. Well, prep time Batman can beat anybody because he gets full rest. He has time to analyse your powers, find your weaknesses... And if he can ambush you or set you up, yeah, you're done. You're done. He can pretty much beat anybody. There's nobody he can't beat. He beat Zeus. He can beat Darkseid. He's beaten Darkseid, which kind of tricked Darkseid. Yeah, he beat Superman. This guy can beat anybody. He beat Green Lantern, right? So prep time Batman. This Batman, in this movie, he was like a mix between... He's like the most overpowered version of Batman there is. Well, yeah. He's the most overpowered variation of Batman. Easily. Yeah. I would say he's like... The Hush Batman. And Prep Time Batman. This, that's what I would say this Batman was. He was just too godlike. He was, he was, he was almost busted. Right? It's only because he's standing next to... 
Barry, Diana, Victor, Cal, and Arthur. It's the only reason. And even then, he still stands out. That is certain, bro. Man. This movie was so well done, man. I've, I've never seen a superhero movie with such emphasis on everything. Look, man. Let's call a spade a spade. The CG was not the best in all places. Some parts, it was unbelievable. It was really, really good. Some parts of the CG didn't look too great. But look, it is what it is. You know, we're getting this movie. And the movie itself was good. Also, there were certain parts of the movie that were... Immersion breaking, they didn't really look like real locations, they looked like sets, yeah? But it's forgivable, man, because it still looked good, it still looked clean, and the storytelling was so good. As I said, I've never seen a superhero movie with so many characters, and every single character is given time, dude. I just can't believe so much of the movie I haven't seen. And as I said before, I didn't believe in the Snyder Cut. I thought to myself, there's no way that a director's cut can be so significant. It, it can't be. Four hours? I mean, look, I didn't feel those four hours. I'll be completely honest with you. I felt, like, as I said before, I felt this movie was like about an hour and a half. Right, if even that. It felt short to me. No way. No way can you tell me this movie was four hours. I mean, I looked at the time. It said four. Didn't feel like it. Didn't feel like it. I bought hella snacks. I watched it on my big screen TV. My my Ultra HD 4K um, TV. Yeah, Super HD. Everything. All the bells and whistles. Yeah. I pretty much... A bag of crisps and a drink. And then the rest of it, I didn't get to eat anything because it was over before I realised it. I spent way too much money on snacks because I thought I was going to be chilling for a long time, eating and whichever. I ate a bit of my crisps, drink. As I was watching it, finished it before I knew it, the movie was over. And I was blown away, man. Oh, jeez. Even from the beginning, when you saw Diana... And she was incredible. She was OP. And she was, like you saw the deflecting of the bullets. And she was like punching people and kicking people. And you saw the power scaling, bro. Like the power scaling was set out from... If she hits a human being, they perish. They melt. Everyone in that, that, um, that heist that they did in the, big, in the beginning... They died, except the guy that she did the she put in a lasso of truth and she asked him, What's your plan? What are you doing? Every single one of those other fools, they died. Like she hit the full impact, bro. And you saw blood splatting on the walls when she was hitting the people. She even did her um her sonic attack, right? On a normal human being. Oh shit, dude. I was like, Diana. Bro, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, man. They show Aquaman, as I said before. They show his motivations, why he has his purse. The way they extended the scene between Bruce and Arthur, and they gave you a sense for why his mentality is the way it is, and his the way he acts, and his, his, his personality was so well articulated and put over you get the character in such a short space of time that's real good directing to be able to do that to emphasize so much and portray so so much of a potent persona that you get the character and you still like him is crazy dude but i think you know um Jason Momoa, the actor in itself, he's a cool dude anyway, right? So he's got that kind of likability element about him, yeah? So, and you kind of get him, right? So, 
it is him being himself, but it's still good acting and great directing, you know. And as I said before, you know, you saw like how God like the Amazons were. They did the Amazons beautifully, which I'm so happy for. You know, that's got to be one of the things that I'm most happy about. To be honest, if you've seen the old gods, um, Diana's family, her dad, um, her brother, uh, her aunt and her mum on the same battlefield together was madness you know um you saw arthur you know and they even set because you vocals in this movie i don't remember him being in the original version that came out of the cinema i don't i don't know if i can recall and he was in a lot dude they showed quite a bit of vocal and mirror like what the hell they cut so much out of the movie, bro. It's crazy. In such a short space of time, yeah. What they showed with Volko and Mira was properly done in this movie. Yeah. It gave you the concept and a blueprint for the foundation of the Aquaman movie. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed, man, by Zack Snyder in this movie. Like, that man deserves a round of applause, man. And the only thing that I'm salty about is... Restore the side of us. Restore the side of us. That's the only, the only thing I can say. Right, I don't want to say anything more than that. Yeah, I mean, look, it looks like cathil has gone. You know, um... What's his name again? Affleck, Ben Affleck, he's out the door, right? He wants to do other things. I don't know. I don't know whether um, Ray, Ray Fisher can come back. Dude, I don't know, man. I really want it, but I don't know if we can get it. Those three important characters. It makes me salty, man, that that's happened. But the only thing that I take solace in is the fact that we actually have this movie. And this movie is godlike. This movie can withstand the test of time. I mean, I think it would be good if they were to maybe in the future, if they do like a Blu-ray version. They won't do it. I want them to touch up the CG. Because the parts where the CG weren't good, it weren't great. But you could, I could overlook it because I was enjoying the movie so much. I enjoyed this movie so much, bro. Oh, my goodness, man. You know, and even with Barry Allen. Man. His interaction with Iris, it was short. Beautiful. And they gave you the concept of what is Barry Allen's movie going to be. And they can touch it up and brighten it up. But that is giving you the foundation. It's It was literally like one scene where he saves Iris. But it was so much in it. Because the relationship, the, the eyes, the music. His, into the interpretation of his OP power. That was Max Flash, by the way. That was Maximum Barry Allen. He had the time, he had the ability to go back in time or go forward in time. He had the healing ability. He had the, and because the thing is, yeah, Flash is capable of delivering a punch that is more powerful than any punch Superman could deliver. That's how powerful. I can't remember what it's called, man, what the punch is called. I can't remember what it's called, man. But Barry Allen is a broken character, man. That's why you'd never want Barry Allen to be a bad guy. If he was a bad guy, he'd pretty much be the end of the world, you know? But yeah, it was just so good. And then you had Victor. <sighs> wow. Victor Stone, bro. Who would have known he was so important? 
His ark was amazing, dude. From a relationship with his dad, his mum, um, him being in college football, the accident, how he came to get his abilities, him getting the power from the mother boxes and him becoming cyborg, him starting to accept who and what he'd become, even though he hated it and he resented his, his dad for what his how his dad was towards him. He blames his dad because if it wasn't for his dad, if his dad was just there, if his dad just cared a little bit more, his mum wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have been the accident. He wouldn't have been turned into what he perceived as a monster. Right? So you could feel his characterization. You could feel his resentment. What and why he acted the way he was. And it was just unbelievable, man. And why he was the key to dealing with the mother boxes. Who would have known that his storyline was so impactful? Who would have known it? So much was cut from the movie. It's insane that all this footage existed. Not just with um, Victor, but with the whole movie in itself. From watching the original movie, you would never be able to tell that Victor Stone is the key to this movie. It's madness, bro. You know, um, and then you have like Wonder Woman. As I said, she was militant and insanely overpowered. Insanely overpowered. The way she should be. And she gave her the sword and shield. Oh my God, dude. And she didn't hesitate to use it, bro. Not even a millisecond of hesitation. Oh my God. If I could say there was a character that gave me the most joy, it would be Diana. I was living vicariously through that character, bro. Because I felt like out of everybody, she was the one that just didn't hold back at all, dude. What she said, how she acted, what she did. There was no hesitation, bro. And I just, I was... Soaking it up, man. I was drinking it in, bro. Oh, boy. She was like a kid in the playground, dude. Oh, shit. What a movie. What a movie. I've never, as I said before, I've never seen a movie that just emphasizes everything in such a short time frame. Although, I do want to say, a four-hour movie should not be the normal. Because people will just go crazy with it and just do all types of madness. It just so happens, this movie is godlike in the long format. But also, as I said... I don't understand how this movie was four hours. I never saw it. I didn't feel it. I felt a sh I felt an incredible, fun, fascinating movie. Not a long movie at all. I can't wait to watch the movie again. If I've been absolutely honest with you. But yeah, we're digressing. Uh, what else was there? There was Batman. You know, and as I said, Batman was godlike, man. Oh, this is just unbelievable. The Snyder Cut. I think. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I don't want to say it. I'm trying to stop myself from saying it right now. But I don't think I can stop myself. Is Ben Affleck the best Batman ever? Is he the best Batman? I don't know what to think. You got Christian Bale and Michael Keaton, dude. But this Batman is so peak, bro. Oh, shit. Let's leave it at that. Ben Affleck. I'm sorry. When he first got announced as Batman, 
yeah? I had a right old laugh about that. Because like, we were just coming off Christian Bale was Batman. And his Batman was godlike. And then you see Ben Affleck and you think, what? Now you look at it. His Batman is just... A wonder, bro. But the thing is, yeah, and I think one of the main reasons that Batman, Bruce, was so brilliant in this movie was he is the one that brought everyone together. He was the brains behind the operation. And he was he didn't get in the way at all. And it's the character interactions. The main essence of this movie, for me, even more than the action, was the character interactions. They were so well done, bro. They were so well done. And then you got the soundtrack? I don't know. I might need to find a way to watch the original. I'm sure it'll be on like iTunes or something or on YouTube. But I don't, I don't, I don't I will, I won't spend a penny on those on that film. I gotta listen to the soundtrack because I was listening to some music and I thought to myself, I've got no recollection of this music in this scene. There was a lot of instances where I, there was the new music and new scenes. That like, was pretty much the whole film. To be honest with you, what? <laughs> Oh, man. But well, we're going to go there right now. Cow. What a short, but meaningful um, presence of a character. Because he came in towards the end, yeah? But his resurrection... And his recollection of who he is and what he is and what his existence is and everything happened in such a short space of time. But again, the writing, the directing, the visual, the characters, Lewis and Cal, beautifully done. The acting, dude. I think it's just the acting. The way, like, Lewis is, he's in the house. Like, he just goes to his heart. The muscle memory. The love. The woman, his love. And his heart. That has calmed him. And the first thing he automatically does on autopilot is go home. And he's looking about. And he's like... And then she puts his old um, Clark's um, shirt on him. Yeah. And then Clark, and then, um, Clark is just like. Mum loved it here. She loved it here. And she's like. You're, you, you remembered. He didn't remember. He felt it. And he starts to remember. I loved it here. Bro. The feels, dude. Because this is Superman. Man of Steel, bro. Oh, shit. And the thing is, I would not feel this way for Superman if it wasn't for Man of Steel. If Man of Steel wasn't such a goddamn good movie, I don't think I would feel so... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know the word to express the feeling towards Superman, so I'm not going to try but, you know, I do like the character. Yeah. My belt buckle. I do like the character. I do. It's so well done, dude. How you can do so much storytelling... In such a short period of time. And do it so well. That it makes sense dude. 
to the part where and it was and the pacing was good as well, man. And even when you saw he was in the ship and you saw the empty the, a pod, you did see a pod that was opened in um, in Kalel's um, ship. Yeah, and that was blatantly um, ma ma um the Martian Manhunter came out of that um that capsule in Kalel's um, ship. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I can't even believe Martian Manhunter is in this movie. How was all this stuff cut out of the original film, bro? This is crazy to me, dude. Anyway, let's not skip ahead. Because we're talking. We're enjoying it. We're enjoying this. Yeah. And then he got the suit. He got the regeneration suit. The black suit, bro. And it looked... Paint. Oh, shit. And then the way he just flew. And he went into space. It's this character, Superman, dude. How would they ever do Superman like this again? Gosh, damn, bro. I'm just looking at it and I just think to myself... They've overdone it. And I don't ever want to say you can overdo something. But if you can ever overdo something... This is it. This is the close as we're ever going to get to them overdo... I don't see how they can go over this Superman... I just don't see it, man. It, man of Steel. I mean, we've been cheated. L let's call a spade a spade, man. Superman only got one movie. He only got one solo movie, which was godlike. I need to think about it. In my brain right now, I'm thinking like the best superhero movie of all time. That's what I'm thinking in my head right now. Yeah. But I need to watch the movie again. I need to be in my thoughts. To think about it because like you know we do have iron man the first movie we do have infinity war we do have um black panther as i say this movie now i can say zach Snyder's um justice league is in there so we do have a couple movies we've got civil war you know well, we've got a couple of movies bro so i need to think about it yeah but anyway we ain't talking about all that type of stuff we're talking about this yeah, so, yeah. Just an incredible... The fact that he's only got one movie. But it's just an incredible film, man. An incredible character. And well done. I mean, I'm excited, but... I'm still... How do they top this? And I can't wait to watch the first um, Superman movie. Because I'm actually... After I've finished this and editing this... I'm going to watch them Superman Man of Steel. That's my plan. I've got some food. I've got some um, takeaway waiting for me. A nice beverage. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And I'm going to chill, man. It's still early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Well, time that I'm sh shooting this and recording this right now. So I'm going to chill out with my Ben and Jerry's, my takeaway. Um... My Superman, Man of Steel. Then I'm going to watch some Black Panther. Then I'm going to watch Full Ragnarok. That's my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Rambling. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. And when Superman just come in there. And then the music, dude. Oh, boy. Superman. It was just beautiful. The moment that Superman came, man. He's the reason that no one came to invade Earth, dude. The reason the mother boxes didn't call out to Apocalyptus. To summon Darkseid and everybody. For the anti-life equation was because of Superman. The mother boxes, no. Don't. Come to Earth. The Kryptonian is here. And you will fall if you fight this guy. Oh, man. 
This movie is crazy. I'm just thinking of different things in this movie, dude. Even when you saw Dark Side and they showed the Omega Beam and the Omega Beam War God, like he did it once, but you saw the the fire coming out of his eyes and just the way the Omega the Omega Beam looked and it hit the guy and it vaporized the guy that it hit. That's what the Omega Beam is. It no matter what the target is it will hit the target no matter what the target is and they will die i mean in my whole life the only time the omega beam has ever failed was against batman <laughs> but we can excuse that because it's batman yeah so if there was ever going to be one person that could escape the most absolute inescapable Omega Beam is Batman. So we have to allow it for that. Other than that, no living entity, yeah, can escape the Omega Beam. Bro, and it was in this movie and it just looked beautiful, bro. Oh, man. And yeah, and then even in the movie, yeah, when they actually failed, because Barry, it's not Barry Allen's fault, but he got injured, yeah. So he couldn't charge. He couldn't um, charge up enough electricity, yeah, to create an electric charge to pow um, power up um, Victor to separate the mother box to get into the mother boxes to separate them um, internally and then physically with the help of Superman. He got injured, dude. And then because he got injured, the anti-life equation manifested and it just took out everything and everybody. And, but then Barry Allen saw it just before it was about to happen and then he reversed time. And that scene was just madness, dude. I'm, I'm looking at this thing to myself, how are they just doing mind-blowing Event after mind blowing event, dude. And Barry Allen, dude, like, come on, man. Like, the, the character, let's put the powers to one side. The character of him was so awesome, dude. This look, his personality before the actual powers was just so entertaining you want to see him interacting with arthur you want to see him interacting with diana you want to see him interacting with victor and bruce oh man man a round of applause at the end of the movie round of applause man oh such a good film but anyway um the yeah, I'm so in admiration of the movie, bro. So, I, sorry, I keep on, you know, diverging from the review, right? Share my thoughts. But, yeah, um, and then he he essentially did Flashpoint. And he even said, you got to break the rule. Because it wasn't too late. Nothing had been done to be undone. And that's the reason he went back in time and reversed that moment. Unbelievable. That's what created the um, nightmare sequence. Where you saw the alternate timeline with um, Batman and Joker was in there. And Mirror. So you had Joker, Batman, Future Flash, um, Deathstroke, Mirror. As I said, Batman. All on the same side as Rebels fighting against Superman. What the hell? Because of Barry Allen. No, I don't want to say, I'm not going to say because of Barry Allen. The guy got injured, dude. He got hurt. He got shot. You know, it is what it is. But it's because of that incident that he couldn't get to Victor in time. For Victor to go into the mother boxes. And that's what created Nightmare Sequence. Which in turn has created the multiverse. 
Flashpoint. They can pretty much do whatever they want, man, with this movie. Like, in terms of the next movies going forward. So, if there's a different Barry Allen, there's a different looking Batman, there's a different looking Superman. They can explain it, dude. Because of the multiverse. This is just... It's crazy. Like, you just think to yourself... These guys are so forward-thinking, man. Like, Zack Snyder. The guy's a bloody genius, bro. And the fact that they even got the Martian Manhunter in there. <laughs> and he looked sick, dude. Oh, my days. And he was in that like, with the black and red. Stop, dude. Stop. And he was, he's always been there, bro. He has always been there. I think he was even in Man of Steel. I can't recall properly, but I think he was in the Man of Steel, bro. Please correct me if I'm wrong, man. If he was in the Man of Steel, I think he was. He was the sergeant. I don't remember, man. But he was, and, and he was in Batman versus Superman. So my brain is so frazzled because I'm my brain is going at like a hundred miles an hour, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, Martian Manhunt is in this movie and he looks so cool and he's like, Dark Side is coming, it's not over yet. <laughs> and then they do that, full well knowing that we're not going to get another Justice League movie. That is a Pisser, bro. That is just that hurts, dude. That hurts, bro. I just need. I'm. I'm. Please, dude. Another Zack Snyder. Restore the Snyder verse, dude. Just do it. Do it. This movie haven't even had an epilogue. And the epilogue was. It was like twenty. 25 minutes? Again, it didn't feel like it. It felt like five minutes. But still, it was beautiful. <clears throat> the way I feel, this movie is the best done superhero movie. I'm not saying it's the best superhero movie ever, <clears throat> but it is the Most well done, comprehensive superhero movie I've ever seen. The layers, the intricacies of the characters, the little Easter eggs in the movie that you can identify if you do know the lore. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just like everything and anything, there could have been more, absolutely. But, it's enough. They did enough, man, to satisfy me. I was, I'm more than happy with this movie. More than happy with it. Yeah, as I said, in terms of being a comprehensive story, it's the best comic book movie I've ever seen. They had everything, every single character, they had a lot of characters, and every single character got time. You understood every single character, even down to Alfred, they gave Alfred time and air time to understand his character and his place and how pivotal he was in this movie. Madness, dude. Madness. So this movie, easiest 10 out of 10 I can give a movie ever yeah and i want to know what you guys think you watch a movie if you watch through this whole thing you must have watched the movie and if you haven't please watch the movie that is the most advice i can give you watch that movie warriors it's over to you i want to say thank you take care stay blessed and um, yeah, definitely watch the movie, man. 
I mean, I don't want to say for the action, because the action itself is godlike, but the movie film is more than that, yeah? But watch the movie, if you're going to watch it, even for just the action. There was a lot of action in this movie, and there was every single action scene was just beautiful, incredible, intricate martial art, like the fighting styles and just them, all their fighting abilities and things that it did in battle was amazing. You know, even down from when Diana fought Dark Side and she was fighting the Parademons to when, I don't know, Cyborg was fighting Dark Side and the Justice League was fighting against Superman, which they did change quite significantly from the... And I'm not going to say that line. I'm so happy they removed a line from that movie. Stupid line, bro. Yeah, that they removed, that Superman said to Batman. They removed that line, which I'm very, 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 very happy about. Right? So, yeah, even if it's just for the action, the movie is worth it just for the action alone. But the movie is so much more, bro. So, yeah. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. Uh, as I say, as I say, I don't think I can reiterate enough. I love this movie. I'm so happy with it. It was an absolute pleasure to watch it, and I'm so happy I have it. Well, I don't have it, but I watched it, and I will have it. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, and no, I do have it. I do have it because I can watch it whenever I want, even though it's through streaming. I can still watch it whenever I want. Right. So, um, yeah. That's all from me. Thank you. Stay blessed. Take care. Stay safe. Because we're still in the C-Virus era. You know, well. I'm recording this. On the 18th of March. 2021. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You know, the um, C-Virus. But we are surviving it. So, yeah. I'm done. Take care, warriors.